gotta tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too Hey, what's up, y'all? I just wanted to kind of quickly come out here and let you guys know I was approved for the apartment. It's like a whole week later, y'all, but I had to call them this morning, but um, got my, um, paid my whole fee and everything. She's going to send me my welcome letter with all the information on it as far as my deposit, my move-in date, all that good stuff, y'all. So I'm hoping to um, move in. It's the second week of March. And the way I was talking in my last vlogs and everything, y'all, is like I already had the apartment. But like I had told y'all, I was waiting for approval. But it's like you know you had it. But in the back of your mind, it's like you need that confirmation, y'all. I got that confirmation this morning. And I'm super excited, y'all. I am super excited. Everything is pretty much, it's a lot more modern than it is here. Y'all see the walls and everything here is like a yellowish beige tint or whatever this is. Yellowish tint. Um, and at the other place, it's kind of like a whitish grayish color. It's a little bit more modern as far as the carpet and everything. Um, it's just everything else is like, it's a lot more updated, y'all. And, um, still within my budget and everything. Y'all know I didn't do the extreme. I'm not doing all that. You know, the thing is to live. I try to live below my means, y'all. I try not to live above my means. But, um, it, it was a big jump. Like I said, I'm going to an actual townhouse now. Um, three-bedroom townhouse. So because i need a basement i need a basement period i will not move in nowhere without a basement y'all but got approved super excited and just waiting on my letter she said she'll have my letter sent to me by the end of the day because they're playing catch up because of yesterday because of the snow they wasn't able to get into office so i'm like yeah that's understandable then you know yesterday was a holiday anyways y'all so um but yeah i just kind of want to jump on camera i really ain't doing nothing today i'm working i tried to go out and go to the grocery store but it was a little too slick so i turned my butt right back around and um we're gonna try it again maybe when i get off work y'all but um not doing too much today like i said i just want to kind of go on and jump on and start my vlog and let you guys know that i was approved for the apartment i can't wait to officially get in there y'all and just and have that fresh start it's gonna be like content it's gonna be crazy y'all the content's gonna be crazy because for those who actually do youtube what zuri because those who actually do YouTube, you know, it's like, it's all about your space. And it's like, you only can film so much. And especially how my lighting is and everything is set up in here. And there's only so much I can do. And those who know, who know what I'm talking about. Like, they know what I'm talking about. And it's like, my content is going to be sick, y'all. Like I said, I'm just steady trying to level up my, my channel even more. I'm waiting on that 30K. I just hit the 27K. And I thank everybody who has been subscribing and supporting you, girl. Like I said, I'm pretty much trying to get up my my vlogging. That's what I'm trying to do, y'all. So, just that, that um, actual vlogging audience, that's what I'm trying to build. Um, I have a business. Everything is still there. Um, but I'm still trying to gain up my um, vlogging audience, y'all. So, that's why I've been going, going hard and dropping so much, which I went down to two videos, like I said before. But in that third video was business content. But I'm going to, um, like I said, I'm going to start back getting a vlogging. Like, it's just... It ain't been much I can do because it's been cold, it's been snowing, I've been stuck in the house not doing anything. So, I really ain't been doing too much. And like I said, it's pretty much junky. And I try to vlog what I can, but like I said, I'm moving. I got stuff here. I got stuff there. But y'all, it's, it's been a mess though. But like I said, I just kind of want to jump on camera and let you guys know the good news. Alright, good morning y'all. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning and I just... Got out the shower, I washed it, um, washed and air dried my face, which is why it's super dry right now. But I am going to do a face mask and I decided to go ahead and do it with you all. You all know I've been having problems with my um, skin just breaking out lately and I basically pinpoint to what it was and it wasn't any of the vitamins that I was taking. But um, as you all can see on this side, I never really had an issue with this side. Like, my face is really smooth, though. That's the thing. I never had an issue with this side. It was always this side here. Uh, you all can see the little dark spots and everything. They're not bumps anymore. Like I said, they're pretty much just dark spots. And I can say they have been lightening up because I have been using this little night treatment. Because, like I said, I really... I don't wash my face at night unless I wear makeup. Like, there's no need for it because, I mean, why? Uh, I'm not that one that's going to wash my face three, four times a day. No. If I wash my, if I wear makeup, 
then I will double cleanse at night but if I do not wear makeup or anything I don't wash my face at night but I will let you all know all about the whole thing once I clear all this up uh, on what I've been doing but right now we are going to do this face mask and I just wanted to bring you guys along with me we'll show you guys exactly what am I going to be doing and just kind of go through the process of everything y'all so let's go ahead and get this started so I can get ready and go to work now if you all seen the last video you know I keep my face mask and everything in here and um I, said, I don't have too many in here um I have to show y'all this I love this here like I love this okay now these are the ones that I have I have one to actually go with my um face wash that I just used but I don't want to use that one so this one here is an egg cream mask it hydrates brightens firms it's not really what I looking for right now I also have a coffee cream mask it nourishes soothes and moisturizes have two of those as well and I have this one here um, this is tea tree and honey and this is basically what I'm looking for and my face is already washed and all that good stuff so yeah y'all let's go ahead and do this let's just say 98% natural ingredients here are the ingredients on there so yeah oh yeah I'm super dry like right here I am I'm also uh, recording on my phone as well for my IG footage so you already know I ain't gotta say it Jay Lee with two E's Actually, why I apply this here I am going to use this here as well so let me plug this in I think the plug is on the opposite side of there so I have that plugged in let me go get the water really quick Ooh, I know it was turned on. Let me cut it off really quick. So this is pretty much the cup for it. You're supposed to fill it up to that line, like right there. Like I said, I am double recording, so I'm just going to try back a little bit. Y'all are my vanity light. That's probably why it appears bright. Um, I'm at least put something on my lips, y'all, because they are really chapped. And this is my lip balm. I am going to actually bring my lip balms back, y'all, once I move and get settled and everything. Because um, I am going to have them for my vendor's event because I still have a lot of tubes. This here ain't going to have no sound to it, so I'm going to just hold it up. But yeah, this is what we're using once again. So it says, wash, rinse, and dry face thoroughly. Unfold mask, remove one side of the protective film and apply it to the face. 
adjust the mask around the eyes, nose, and mouth. And do the same thing with the other side. Smooth out any um, air pockets and leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. And remove and dispose of mask. And basically you just want to pat the ceramic and you don't rinse this off y'all. What do you mean like a protective film? Is it a protective film on here? Okay, this here is to protect the film because it's much thinner and this is the actually the actual mass. Oh, I got two of them on here. Alright y'all, so pretty much this thing, I don't even know, 18, this thing run for like 7 minutes I think, I'm not exactly sure, I didn't even time it, but I think I started at 18, um, well, I think it runs for 5 minutes, so 
the directions call for it to stay on for 10 or 20 minutes so I am going to do the whole 20 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit do some other things really quick um get my tea and stuff together and then I will come back and we can get ready and take this mask off all right y'all already know I like my Camille tea yeah I know this is my favorite mug yeah I got it from I don't know I think it was like Ross or somebody Marshalls I don't have any more of my green tea so this is a tea that we're going to use. Just took this off. That's what all that noise was, y'all. So this is like super hot. Super hot. to use this honey here I like a good amount of it y'all y'all know it's a natural sweetener anyway so can't go wrong with organic raw honey Right, y'all. Now I got my tea and everything. It is super hot. Um, I'm going to get ready and take this mask off, and it's been over 20 minutes, I believe. Let me record on my phone. Pull my phone and stuff back up. Y'all, let's see the effects of the mask. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're just going to take it off. Ooh, I need recording. I'm going to take it off. Ooh. Was I supposed to took that off, y'all? <laughs> oh, I guess it really did not. Hmm. Oh, I guess it really didn't matter either side, y'all. But let's take it off. Mommy. What, Zuri? I'm doing something. Happy birthday, Zuri. Mommy. Happy birthday, Zuri. Happy birthday, Zuri. Happy birthday, Zuri. Happy birthday, Zuri. Happy birthday, Yeah, look how I still have the serum and everything in it, so it just say like gently, I think it said gently pat it in. All the kids done woke up, getting ready to go to school. Well, J. Brill already started class. I got this like super early, so I'm just going to gently pat it in like it says. And like I said, this mask was the tea tree and honey. Y'all know tea tree and honey have some great benefits for the skin. And I am looking past the camera, y'all. I'm looking in the mirror behind the camera. So I'm gonna let this just sit in. Should do my eyebrows really quick. All right, y'all. It's about almost dry. Oof. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Look how eyes are glowing. Mm. Look at that. Let's get some natural lighting, y'all. Let's get some cook up that light on. Yes, some natural lighting. Goodness gracious, y'all. Skin is looking good. It's looking good. It's feeling good. Now y'all see this. I don't even have to add a moisturizer on this. I'm not going to like clog my pores up. Because it uh, matched. Y'all see it had a lot of serum on it. And I just like patted into the skin as you all see. So we're just going to leave it as is, y'all. But that felt so good. Like that felt really, really good. Now I really don't have much planned today. And y'all, I am using wet kisses on my lips. And y'all, I freaking love this. I haven't used wet kisses in so long. Like you all see the shine. Look at the shine. I haven't used wet kisses in so long. And which I know like I just started pulling everything in here so it's kind of easier for me to reach because normally I have everything put up and you know out of sight out of mind so I always just reach for that same old gloss or whatever but y'all wet kisses right here y'all better go get this go get wet kisses it's a little bright there you go this is like the actual color of it this one doesn't have a label on it or anything I'm gonna leave that out because I've been using this like crazy but look at the shine Look at that shine, y'all. Love it. Well, like I said, I don't have too much that needs to be done today. Uh, I'm about to go ahead and get myself situated. I got a few business things that need to get done. Um, I need to uh, write some stuff down in my journal. I need to write some stuff down in my planner. Um, like I said, y'all, I got approved, which I had told y'all that yesterday. I did get approved for the apartment and everything. I'm still waiting on the welcome letter. Um, hopefully, I get that today by the end of business, business day so I can get all the details about, like, well, like I told her the moving date would be the 12th anyway. So, um, just all the fees and all of that other good stuff, y'all, the address and all that. Um, I'm super excited, y'all. I'm super excited. So, let me go ahead and clean up this little mess here get myself situated for the day and i'll talk back to y'all in a minute all right y'all so <laughs> i've been going through my stuff and pretty much shredding up my papers you know still getting rid of everything condensing everything down so i can get ready and move y'all and i found my old journal i found my old journal and y'all i had some stuff in here i had some stuff up in here but um i'm it's, it's time to let it go y'all i was writing in this journal back in 2000 2002 2003 um something like that y'all and i pretty much just ripped all the pages out and i end up shredding up all of everything that i've written of course i've read i went through and read everything and I was a hot mess y'all I was a hot mess and it was it's just freaking crazy but um am I distracting you she's like huh because she over here listening to this dang on tablet let me say hi nope she ain't in the mood today y'all but yeah I just went on and shredded up all this stuff it's just it's time to move on and like I said I'm a pack rat I keep everything and I have a ton of other things that I need to go through and get rid of. I have all of my elementary awards and certificates and everything and it's time to get rid of that stuff y'all. I am finna be 32 years old this year and I have a lot of stuff that I keep and it's just, it, it's time. It's time to move on and just get over that stuff and that's my problem. Like I hold on to so much stuff y'all. I hold on to so much and it's, I don't know how to let things go. <laughs> But y'all, I just, it was a bittersweet moment. Like I said, I done tore everything out of here. And I used to write all the time, y'all. And stuff I was writing about, man. Because I had, I remember I was in seventh grade. So this was seventh, all the way through. 
my freshman year of high school so that's what was in here but like i said i still have all the memories and everything up here and y'all it, it's just crazy the stuff that i read that i used to just be on back in the day y'all girl was something else like man see i'm trying to get some orders together y'all and it took me forever to find my freaking royal which is it's my last one in stock for the old labels this one here which royal is the same thing as sugar plum i just kind of changed the name and then you know like i said it's the same thing just the name change i had changed it with my new logo and everything you all can see that but it's the same thing y'all but y'all know i end up putting don't pick this up like this stop before you break my scale move stop 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 but y'all know i had put up don't play with me i put everything up y'all so which i said i was gonna keep a few things out but um in the room i let me show y'all i basically end up putting all these boxes in this room here um the stuff that i have packed up and of course the kids still have some toys in here um but y'all it's it's a mess which you all had already seen where i keep all of my um stuff packed up which i had told myself that i was supposed to get like a few little um bubble millers out my little um organza bags i was supposed to get a few of those things out and put them inside the um the little container so when orders come through i won't constantly have to come back and forth in here y'all but still ain't did that and which it's not even a problem all i gotta do is grab it out y'all but it ain't been a big deal for me um but i think i am gonna go ahead and put some in there now in the total whatever like i said i have about three weeks left so look y'all it is what it is i can't wait to get all of my stuff together and start on my um diy project for my whole designated area y'all i'm just super excited super excited and it still it snowed a little bit more this morning but we did have like some relief last night it didn't snow at all yesterday but it ended up snowing some more this morning i was trying to figure out what that is y'all <laughs> i'm gonna close the door um but it did snow some more this morning so uh i don't know if i'm going to be able to take it out today or not to the post office i know tomorrow's supposed to be fine too but it just really depends on how it is once i get off it should be cleaned up because like i like to get my orders this was ordered yesterday um so i want to get it shipped out as soon as possible well i have my processing is all up to three business days but like i said my processing time don't never take that long so because I'm always, soon somebody orders something, like I said, I have everything already pre-made. All I got to do is put it together, you know, print out the shipping letters and everything and take it to the post office. And that's how I like to keep things. That's a little bit more organized for me. And it's just, yeah, and it's just so much fun when you have everything together and organized. Like, it's just, man, y'all, I just, I just love packing orders. And I probably will end up doing a video one day, y'all. Of course, it won't be until I move or whatever of me packing my orders and everything. But I haven't did one of those and on why you like it's been it's been a minute since i did one i think the last time i did one was probably this past summer it was the last time i did a packing video but let me go and get these orders together y'all now it is later on in the evening it's about eight o'clock and y'all i have finally got around to taking all of my pictures product pictures of all these glosses that i'm going to put on a website because i'm going to have a really big blowout sale because i want to get rid of all of these glosses by the time i move that way i can do my um yeah, I know I have to do a really big restock and then on top of that, I have to get ready for my vendors event. So I'm pretty much trying to get rid of all the rest of the stuff that I have left, which is not a lot, but it's still enough that I want to get rid of. So I'm about to get ready and do like a really big blowout sale. Yeah, I know I had so much stuff. I'm um, lip gloss tools, but I'm end up using the majority of my lip gloss tools, but I am selling some as well. And my freaking arm hurts. So let me put y'all on this little tripod goodness oh wow oh yeah i don't hurt there we go <laughs> much better much better but um but yeah that's pretty much what i've been doing i've been doing that since i got off work and i'm gonna show y'all in a minute so i pretty much got everything uploaded it's as a draft right now and by the time i upload this video it will be saturdays i upload saturday mornings 
and I think that's when I'm going to go live with everything. It's Saturday morning and today is Wednesday. So they give me some time to fill out my description because I still have to go through and some of those don't have labels and I have to pretty much go and put all the ingredients on there and then I, I also have to go and shrink wrap everything y'all. So it's still a lot that I have to do within that but I'm pretty much trying to get rid of all of these glosses y'all by the time I move like I'm trying to get rid of all of it. Um, but I think I'm pretty much done for the night. I'm pretty much done for the night because I also been back and forth with cleaning everything, just trying to condense everything down. Like I have been taking advantage. <laughs> I've been taking advantage of these snow days. Like it's been making me sit down, put it that way. I haven't went out spending money. I mean, I went and got a few groceries or whatever, but y'all know me by now. I would have went to Hobby Lobby. I would have went to Target, Walmart. I would have been somewhere in somebody's line buying some unnecessary stuff. And y'all know this by now. So I can't say this weather has been sitting me down. But I mean, I mean, I went out to it. I was able to go drop off my um, my orders today on lunch because, you know, the streets and stuff was clear. Some parts was clear, but it's still a lot going on. And I just want to kind of pray for Texas because they have been having a power outage. So I pray for y'all and, you know, they ain't. I know I got some Texas viewers out here from the last video, and I'm just praying for y'all. Well, hopefully by the time y'all see this, y'all still better be restored by then. But I know y'all not used to this weather. Like, we get this every year. So, I mean, this ain't nothing new to us. It's like, <laughs> it is what it is. But y'all, I just, I'm just sick of it. Like, I'm sick of it. But yeah, y'all, um, I still got this dang on thing back here. Y'all remember this? <laughs> this is the mirror that uh, go to my dresser. I never even painted it, painted it white. Which I know uh, I was supposed to end up doing a DIY project with that. Um, for those who've been watching that long. And I was supposed to just take that off. And I was supposed to use the mirror itself. Um, still see if I can do something with it. But y'all, nine, nine times out of ten, I think I'm just throw it away. Did y'all see it's just back there. It just looks real tacky. It looks real tacky. So, But sometimes I still I pull the mirror out. And that's how I take some of my pictures and stuff. So I still may do it or may not. But my camera finna get ready and die. But I'm about to get ready and make me a Oreo shake. So I'm going to show you guys. Hopefully the camera don't die on that. I'm going to go ahead and make me an Oreo shake. And then I'm going to call it a night. But now, I'm probably taking me a nap and stuff. I'm probably going to take a nap and it's 8 o'clock, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and make this shake. Alright, y'all. So this is going to be real quick. I'm just going to use this ice cream right here. It's a natural vanilla. Then I have a little bit of almond milk there. And then of course I have some Oreos. Okay, y'all, yeah, let's see what we got going on here. I'm gonna put it straight in here. I'm about to make a, a shake, baby. So we're gonna put a little ice cream in there, y'all. I want ice cream. Want too much. Mm. Stop it. Mm. Mm. Pretty much what we got. Yeah, the almond milk is freaking frozen. Girl, it ain't nothing else in there while you uh. And then of course we're going to take some Oreos and I'm just gonna break them up just a little bit. Should have took the icing out. But it's cool. I'll show y'all how it looks. So that's pretty much how it looks.
now that it's good and I'd rather for this be a little bit thicker, but I mean, let's see. Mmm. This just tastes just like an Oreo McFlurry. Mmm. This bar. All of these some whipped cream. And then sprinkle a little bit more Oreos. On top of it, but we're gonna do this again, y'all. We're gonna end up doing this again. Mm-mm. It's fire. It's freaking McDonald's Oreo machine, shake machine all the way down. Gotta start improvising.